football fans. I'm Rachel George here with another edition of Friday Night Varsity Flashback. We'll have plenty of highlights from week four. A little later in the show, we'll get to Ashley at Topsail and Southeast Raleigh in Hanover. But first, we'll start at this game, East Columbus at North Brunswick. East Columbus headed to North Brunswick with the former conference opponents squaring off in a non-conference contest for the first time in a while. It was mistakes, mistakes, mistakes early in the game. On the Scorpions' first drive, quarterback A.J. Perkins tries to make the option pitch, but loses the ball in the backfield and loses 17 yards in the process. Then Perkins rolls out to complete a pass, but it falls incomplete. The Scorpions were forced to punt, but on their next drive, they get inside the Gator 10-yard line. The pitch to Jamel Batts appears to be stopped, but the mistake belongs to East Columbus this time as the Gators get called for a face mask. That keeps the drive alive, and DJ Graham scores on the next play, taking it into the end zone from six yards out. It's 7-0 North Brunswick, but it wouldn't stay that way for long. The mistakes just kept coming. On the very first play of the Gators' drive, North Brunswick misses the tackle, and TJ Wilson takes the ball 65 yards for a touchdown and a 7-7 score just 16 seconds after Graham put the scorps up. North Brunswick was trying to get things going again, and Graham finds some room on the right side, going 55 yards to get to the East Columbus three-yard line. But he fumbles the ball on the next play, and the Gators recover at their one. They'd go on to march 99 yards for a score and take a 27-13 win. We'll head over to Topsail, where the Pirates were playing host to Ashley. Both teams coming in with a 1-2 and two record and looking to get to 500. With Topsell already down 14-0, quarterback Nick Powers and coach Brian Davis are in disagreement about how to get the offense going. The Screaming Eagle defense continued its improvement under first-year coach Jason Tindall. Ashley contained the Black Hats option all night long, forcing them to the outside or keeping them in the backfield. Zach Finnegan showing again why he's the area's top passer. He finished with 128 yards and two touchdowns for the Screaming Eagles. Topsell leaves this home game disappointed, falling 29-15. Finally, we'll head over to New Hanover where the Wildcats were hoping to stay undefeated. But the first half was all Southeast Raleigh. The Bulldogs got up 13-0 and got the ball back with 40 seconds left in the second quarter. With 23 seconds left in the half, quarterback Gabe Henderson launches it down the sideline to Jamar Satterwhite. He makes the catch at the 6 and gets out of bounds at the 5. Two plays later, Henderson finds Keith Tucker across the field for a touchdown to put Southeast Raleigh up 20-0 to with 1.6 seconds to go in the first half. But in the second half, the Wildcats showed signs of life. The defense led the way with linebacker Hunter Lancaster making tackles all over the field. The Wildcats were pitching a second-half shutout, nearly picking off Henderson, and then using half the team to sack him. Then the offense took over as quarterback Jordan Betts completes a pass over the middle to Tevin Mishu. Mishu takes the ball again on the reverse to get to the one-yard line. And certainly, you can guess the next play as Mishu takes it in for the score. For the Wildcats, though, it wasn't enough as Southeast Raleigh goes on to win 20-7. New Hanover will take its 3-1 record on the road next week. Now here's a look at the other scores from around the area. Harrells falls at Mount Zion, 44-42. Hoyer gets a home win against Q Foundation, 24-18. Ashley wins on the road at Topsail, 29-15. Swansboro earns a home win over Dixon, 35-7. East Bladen stays undefeated with a 33-7 win over Clinton. East Duplin improves to 3-0 with a 41-34 win at Wallace Rose Hill. West Brunswick wins at home against Laney, 31-7. Southeast Raleigh tops New Hanover, 20-7. East Columbus earns a win on the road, beating North Brunswick, 27-13. Pender earns a home win, beating South Robinson, 42-6. Jones tops Union 27 to 0. West Bladen wins at home, beating St. Paul's 22 to 15. West Columbus earns its first win, topping Trask 13 to 12. Southwest Onslow beats White Oak 24 to 7. And Whiteville wins on the road at Lumberton 10 to 7. Well, that's it for us this week. Check back on Wednesday as we look ahead at the Week Five games. But this has been Rachel George for Friday Night Fire City Flashback on StarNewsOnline.com.